Levi's is out with better than expected sales and earnings for its most recent quarter. The company also says it will be back to pre-pandemic sales levels by the end of 2021. Levi CFO Harmeet Singh is here with us now with more. Harmeet, always good to see you this morning. Uh, let's start with the stock price. Uh, the stock is under pressure uh, this morning, close to 7%. And from what I can decipher, just talking to my, my analyst friends, there is some concern on the uh, how many stores you have closed globally because of the pandemic. What's the latest on that? So uh, good morning, Brian. Thanks for having me uh, uh, you know, on the show. It's difficult to predict what drives the stock um, on a daily basis. Uh, but let's go to the business performance. Uh, we had a real solid quarter. We beat the top line and the bottom line expectations, and we generated a lot of cash that allowed us to uh, reinstate dividends. And as we think about the longer term, because we run the company for the longer term, the sequential improvement in our business quarter over quarter, including through holiday, is really encouraging. Uh, we're confident we are going to be emerging stronger as we grow our digital business, we are really strong on the women's side. And uh, as a company, you know, we've talked about getting to operating margins of 12% when we return to uh, pre-pandemic levels, which we think begins to happen in quarter four of this year. And we're generating a lot of cash. To your question about store closures, you know, we put our consumers and employees at the, at the front of every action and ensuring they're safe is important. So. Because of the resurgence of the virus, uh, there is you know, short-term pressure, especially in quarter one, especially in Europe. Most of our closures are in Europe. Uh, but the good news for us is that we are recapturing about 50% of sales we're losing on brick and mortar as we grow our digital business, which is today profitable. So I think you know, thinking about the business for the longer term, we feel really uh, strong about where we're headed and the pivot we're making to meet consumer demand, which is shifting you know, thanks to the pandemic. Yeah, let's talk about that shift, Harvey, because I think that's really interesting. You know, most of us are, are, are sitting at home, we're in our sweats, we're not wearing jeans. Um, and, and I wonder how sort of how much that change is going to hold when people get back out into the world. I know you guys did roll out some sweats that I believe then sold out, but how, you know, how much are you going to pivot in that direction, you know, without sacrificing the sort of identity of Levi's, which is synonymous with jeans? Yeah, you know, the, uh, the casualization really plays to our strengths. Um, uh, we are selling a lot of jeans, uh, even in today's environment, um, you know, and our market share, for example, both on the men's and women's side on, on denim continues to be really, really strong. Relative to the casualization, I'm wearing, you know, what we just rolled out, the red tab sweats. Um, and we have said that our intention long term is to, is to get our non-denim bottom business to approximately 50% of our business. And, you know, the red tab sweat is a great example of it. We said, you know, we still have a lot of tops to sell. We still under penetrated in that category. And you're right, the red tab uh, sweat launch, which was a you know, a test, uh, I would say, sold out. So we're going to come back, um, you know, uh, on a global basis uh, later in 21. Uh, but the other uh, changes, uh, you know, are really working to advantage. The other piece is the digitization of the consumer experience. We are growing our digital business, which is now profitable. You know, are reconnecting with the younger consumer. They really love brands that they can trust, brands that are sustainable. And we play really, um, you know, uh, you know, really well in the sustainable uh, space. Uh, for example, last year we launched the cottonized hemp in our products. You know, we have a recycled program through our Levi's Secondhand. So our connection with the younger consumer is really growing and really making a big difference. Yeah, Harmeet, I, I'm so used to seeing in the Levi's jacket. I, you, you took me off guard uh, with the, with this casual look. Um, but talk to us about the the fourth quarter of this year. Uh, what does the world look like to Levi's and Harmeet Singh in the fourth quarter of this year? Because this is the quarter, at least you told uh, the street, that you will return to the same to to the growth, higher growth than the fourth quarter of 2019, if I have that right. How do you get there? Yeah, so you know it's difficult uh, to predict the future, and visibility is low. But our view of the world is, you know, as the uh, the vaccine, uh, you know, vaccines roll out. Uh, we we believe you know the second sometime in the second half 
we can start approaching uh, you know, levels of revenue that existed in 2019. With Q4 being our first uh, you know, uh, uh, quarter where we get back to uh, those levels. And when we get back to those levels of demand, you know, our view is operating margins get uh, you know, to the 12% number that we talked about, largely driven by a higher gross margin business. You know, as a business, our gross margins are, are growing and that's good news for us. We're taking pricing. The consumer is willing to pay largely because they love the product uh, that, uh, that we, are, we are providing. Uh, and that's really the thinking. If you go back to Europe, uh, Brian, pre-closures, the, the, the recent round of closures, Europe, uh, if you take September and October, well, was already a little higher than 19 levels. So the bounce back was pretty quick. And I think that's largely because our consumers love our brand. And the moment they can access it through our stores that are open or through the digital experience we're providing, I think they'll come back and come back big. All right, we'll leave it there. Levi CFO, Harmeet Singh, always good to see you. Stay safe, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Brian. Have a good one. Bye-bye. You too.